Uh, my name is Bob Thompson. I work with Salt Lake County Watershed Planning and Restoration. I'm a watershed scientist and I'm installing a bioengineering treatment here on the Jordan River at about 18th North. This site has a very long history of different management, management practices. Um, management practices have varied from dredging to straightening to uh, basically manipulation of the river channel. Uh, this is not the regular channel that would exist if nature had its way. This is actually a, a human created channel. So what once was a naturally meandering system uh, with an enormous amount of biodiversity has effectively been treated like a plumbing system. So what we're trying to do is reverse some of that trend. We can't reverse all of it because if we did just you know get rid of the levees and allow this river to meander an enormous amount of development would be consumed. So that it's just we're trying to naturalize us on that an unnatural system. So it's we're gonna build a piscine. Just lay those down. A piscine is a bundle of willows that sort of looks like a cigar. And uh, it's a toad tree. Do not wrap the ends. So go to the first person, go on the inside of that person to tie the first one. Right at the base of the, of the uh, uh, slope. So the hole is what you really need. It's in the hole. And then if you just sort of put your foot just around the hole, around it. And yeah, so then, just, I get it around twice, yeah. and then I put it through. And, and then you slide. push the grip down. Then I slide the grip oh. down. And that's when I really start Well, I like to do it underwater. It's a lot harder. <laughs> and then it goes six inches into the bed, and then put that bundle in there. So you got a hole there? OK. The treatment I'm installing right now is called a vertical bundle. It's a bundle of willows, and the willows are basically here to take root in the ground, and the roots are the thing that are gonna really hold this bank in place. So instead of using a traditional engineering approach where you try to harden the banks with rocks, concrete, or some other foreign body, you actually use vegetation and native materials that can actually support the bank soil. What I'm doing is I'm clearing the grasses out of the way, some of these are actually native grasses, but they don't have the same root system that willows do. So, as I do this, I'm trying to clear all of the vegetation out of the way and get bare mineral soil and a nice little trench for the vertical bundle to lay in. And where are most of the roots going to come out first? Where and where do you get the oxygen? Right above the water. Right above the water. Then that six-inch layer that's right above the water that's aerated and not saturated. So wherever it's not touching, you have to do a little bit more trimming. So then, when you're done, you need to use the buckets and put water on it. So what you're seeing is as far as you're going to go. So now we're going to release it, and that, remember I said that just locks the ratchet out, and then you can pull it back out again. No, it's actually patented. It's, uh, and you can go on to gripple.com, and it comes with various sizes to fit the amount, the size of the cable. The other part to this that I always describe is that this little branch, you call it the 30 bud stem. These 30 bud stems, they're gonna pop first. So if we can kind of take off these, we can sort of eliminate that and we get more growth down below. A lot of people don't realize rivers have two functions, not just to convey water, but to convey sediment. And almost everybody forgets about the sediment part. Bioengineering deals with both, whereas traditional engineering deals with the water. So it's just a more comprehensive solution. It doesn't work in all cases, 
but it's extremely versatile. Set it. What's that mean? Open it up. Turn it. 